go. Well, good morning. Uh, we're live here in Boca Raton. I'm Dr. Jerry Cuomo, and I'm working on a patient whose uh, grandson um, attends University of Buffalo Dental School. His name is, uh, is, is Joseph. And Joe, we're just doing a little shout out here. Your grandma says hi. And we're working on her implant. So we just uncovered the, uh, the screw retained temporaries. Now I'm going to back out. Uh, you see we got a screw that's on pretty tight. So we're going to use a, a little wrench. It comes with the kit. Let's see how we can undo that. And a lot of times the surgeons will just hand tighten these uh, these uh, temporary abutments. This one was a little tighter, so we have to use the wrench and some resistance on both. All right. So usually what you'll find is some cotton down inside, along with uh, a either cabinet on top of that or B just uh, any type of restorative temporary material that they choose at the at their office. So this periodontist here in Boca Raton uh, provided our patient with her provisionals and he's uh, wondering if we can do this as a screw retain case but with separate. Okay so now we want to just gently ever so gently rinse this area and if you're up on your your science, uh, you're going to find out that's the epithelial attachment right there. And uh, we're going to look inside because uh, no one's been able to see what's inside of these implants. So you can see there's some debris from the cement down inside. So we've got to clean that out. I uh, don't know if that's clear on the screen, but uh, try to center this. So I'm going to rinse that all out of there. And um, Julia, you might feel a little bit of water squirting up. All right. That's a little bit, huh? <laughs> okay. All right. And I got to get in there with a the special cleaner. We use uh, chlorhexidine gluconate, which is our cavity cleanser. We have it on a, a small brush. So I got to clean that thoroughly. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem with our impression taking. So we're going to go there now with our suction real close now, small suction. Let's see all that debris. Now that could also be maybe some material from the graft. I don't know. I'll have to ask my periodontist that question. All right. And just gently suction inside. Okay. All right, so most of that is uh, being cleaned up and uh, minimal, minimal invasion of tissue tags in here are just terrific. Easy to see. All right, so that's the first part. I will rinse that out thoroughly. And we're going to just See if I can rinse that and then dry it. Make sure we have no contaminants whatsoever inside. You okay, Julia? Okay. There's, you have to use uh, either an 18 gauge or a 20 gauge syringe tip to get way down in there because your threads are really the, the life or death of your implants. You got to keep those threads meticulously clean. And you're not going to reach it with a normal syringe, so we use a 20 gauge. And I still like to see it a little cleaner on this number 27. Looks like 28 looks good, but 27 needs a little bit more. All right, so we'll squirt some more water down. Then you're going to get a little wet again. I got a little O-ring leaky o-ring this morning. At, uh, I'm going to still use what I have here. There we go. And you see how that goes right down in place and then I'm just going to, sorry about that Julia. We just want to keep you awake today. You know, I don't want you falling asleep during this appointment. <laughs> Alright, so 
That looks pretty good. Now, I like the way that looks. Um, I've, I'm now debris free. And it's a good time to put our impression copings in. So these are uh, modified Strauman impression copings that I modify here in the office. Just to give you an idea what they look like. And this is, uh, I guess, is going to go in number 27. And then we have another one. This is actually going to go in number 28 position. All right. So here we go. Back in the mouth here. And I want to make sure we're centered on your uh, video screen. So I'm going to slowly turn that into place till it bottoms out. And that felt pretty good going in. Now I'll just tie that in place. Now, Julia, you won't be able to close once we have these established in place. All right, so we're uh, tying one in and hand tightening that. And just dry around that area, please. And I'll put the next one in. And that drops in like so. Now the reason why we're using a close or excuse me, an open tray system is because we may want to splint these teeth together. And our, our accuracy is going to be so much better. Alright, so I'm hand tightening both in place. And I'm going to check to make sure we have our contacts aligned. Now we do want to check our contact on this adjacent crown. Uh, this was a three tooth bridge. It got sectioned uh, here, mesial of uh, tooth number 29. So we had a ponic space and an anterior abutment. So we're going to get ready to take our impression. This looks very good. Um, I really don't need to touch much at all. Maybe a slight contact here on this. Uh, so I might disc that first and then then we'll move forward to the impression phase. Alright, so I'm going to do this disking and uh, if we have time remaining, we'll take our impression. Otherwise, I'll put it on the next segment. All right, so here we go. A little bit of disking. Oh, Julia. I'm using a soft flex disc, but a more of a medium coarse grade so I want to be able to really plane that contact and get it very smooth. That actually looks very good. I'm going to look from the top again looking straight down with a stereo microscope and I like it. That looks good. Maybe a little bit more on the on the lingual aspect. All right. There we go. That's perfect. Super. All right. Let me uh, continue this on the next segment. So this is one of two, possibly three. Dr. Jerry Cuomo here in Boca. Uh, we'll be right back at you with the next video clip. Thanks for watching.